Yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. G'day everyone, welcome to another full scale fishing adventures video. We are back drifting the ovens, but this time it's early morning, it's top water time. We're gonna drift down this really nice stretch casting around the hunchback and we're trying to land one as you just saw we had a nice blow up so the fish are on the job so all we have to do is keep our lures in the right spot and something should happen so stay tuned Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Just gonna attack that side, you reckon? <laughs> Where's your hat? <laughs> that was close. <laughs> I've had lots of gear that you think is like it's the same price or more. Oh! See that completely missed it. It just like didn't even didn't even hit the lure, eh? Like it was like a half a meter away from the lure. That's amazing. Yeah. And this is that <laughs> lay, the hidden lay down we found in the sun the other day. Yeah. You just wouldn't know it was there if you hadn't fished this beforehand. Going that time though. <laughs> <laughs> How awesome was that? Uh, and so good, like, to just not go, oh, you know, I missed him, I missed him. But it's like, just put another one in there, slowly wind it through, and you'll get him. It's a lovely fish. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish, man. That is really spectacular. So good. Got him, got him. Check that out, isn't that spectacular? Absolutely spectacular. And this is what we came to catch. One of my favorite things in all of Australia to do is to come and catch cod on top water. The bite and the places they take you first thing in the morning and working a lure first thing in the morning is just so pleasant because you're not getting snagged you're just able to enjoy, enjoy the best part of the day. Spectacular fish, that's outstanding. Like he's only just got it in his mouth. And that first strike, he just clean missed it. Like he wasn't anywhere near the lure. And I think that's something you gotta understand when you're surface luring is you're not gonna get every bite. And it's not something you're doing wrong. It's just that the fish aren't actually hitting the lure, so. Send him on his way. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh. 
<laughs> oh man, he was so angry. Oh, <laughs> he creamed it. He was like on top of the log when he ate it. Didn't yeah. Oh. He <laughs> 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 did. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, the old hunchback, such a perfect option for this sort of water. Beautiful paddle, nice small lure that's easy to cast, but still, you know, makes enough noise that a big fish is gonna come up and cream it. I've got the double split, split ring set up so that it just holds those hooks down a little bit lower. And I think that just increases your chances that little bit more. Nice fine gauge trebles. It's just a weapon and loop knot. Loop knot's important because it makes the lures swim a lot better, these surface lures. I'd much rather a loop knot over a split ring. Yes. What a <laughs> yes. oh, and you like called that so cool. <laughs> Dude. Oh, oh spectacular. <laughs> oh, that was that was day. cool. That was really, really cool. Oh man. <laughs> oh, amazing. Fish. There's a couple of really cool things about this fish. It came out of, we've just been going down through the rapids there, and we come to the first little bit of depth, and there's a big log right in there. It's just the perfect spot for a fish, and like Tom just pretty much called that that's where the fish should be. And the other cool thing about this fish is you can see the bite marks. See the bite mark on his back? And there's also on this other side here too, Another fish has just been slamming into him. So there's obviously quite a bit of competition in the river, but beautiful fish. Amazing, amazing. He's ready to go. He goes. Nice. Yeah, I reckon one of the most asked questions on the channel when I put up a cod video is where were you fishing? Like where, where was that cod caught? And I've, I've driven 11 hours from home and I have not fished this area before. Simply picked a spot on the map where we could get the raft in and the raft out and we've come down and we're fishing logs. We're putting the surface lure where you'd expect to be, uh, the fish to be and the fish are there. So as long as the water is of good clarity and there's cod in the river, you do the right things with a cod lure, you'll get a bite. And that's about as simple as choosing a location is. So always a good sign of a successful morning. The old gourd out thumb, chewed out thumb. Yeah, it's like, it's like a root base there. Get out of this run. Hey, we have to get out of that run. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, definitely worth the cast there, I reckon. The definitely worth the cast there. <laughs> oh. And ate it really well. And what a perfect example. Like, it's hooked underneath its, like, its head. No wonder you miss them. Oh. <laughs> I can't run yeah. there. <laughs> Come on, fish. Just one yeah. yeah. Like two, it's the worst. Uh. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Just like, yeah. Be worth a car yeah. Over there. Oosh. Anywhere there's timber, eh? It's like, 
It's actually got a bit of depth here. Oh. Playing up a bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, we can get out. Oh, what a fish. Oven's River turning on the surface fishing. Amazing. Amazing. And shows you, like, that was not much that we could see poking out of the water. Just a couple of little spinlies. But he was sitting there. Stunning fish. He smoked it. He's a good fish. Oh, Oven's River fish. So good. So good. It does look good in there, actually. They're so opportunistic, like they just see something like that and they've just got to pair out to eat it. It's worth the, the effort. Oh, he's one oh. under. You see that? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, I didn't even know that he was there still. Oh. oh. <laughs> so green. Oh. That's the first one we've had like swipe at the kayak then. Who's there? Oh. You think about um, yesterday, like those fish that hit your lure straight away. Like that one. Oh. That was a nice fish. It's like two in 10 meters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I've got him that time. Nice. Oh. <laughs> oh, so cool. <laughs> Came back cool. for it. Came back. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. That is really cool. Got the eat. It's what we wanted. And the sun's up. And it doesn't matter. They still come out and smash it. Beautiful fish, really nice fish. Oh. Of all the types of cod fishing you can do, surface luring is without a doubt the most exciting. And yes, we've missed some fish, but when it all comes together and you get a beautiful, beautiful cod off the top, it's all worthwhile. Get one last look. Off you guys. That is awesome. Well, what an awesome morning of topwater fishing. The light's high now. I think the topwater bite is done and dusted. But if you like topwater fishing for cod, make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the episodes. Huge thanks to Tom for paddling me down the river. Um, I'll leave a link for Tom's channel in the description. He's got heaps of good fly fishing videos, lots of technical stuff. There's so much good info on his channel. But I think we're just going to tick on down. The car's not too far down the bend. So I'll catch you next time.